A push for humanitarian aid topped the agenda as Stefan de Mistura met with Syria's foreign minister in Damascus. We have been particularly talking about the issue about humanitarian unhindered access to all besieged areas, not only by the government, but also by the opposition and by ISIL. According to the UN, 46 Syrian towns are cut off, lacking food, electricity and running water, and putting the lives of over a million people in jeopardy. The UN envoy to Syria is also there to discuss the implementation of a ceasefire due to take effect at the end of the week. But Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has already expressed doubts about the truce proposed by major powers at a conference held in Munich. We hear about them requesting a ceasefire within a week. OK, but who's capable of bringing together all these conditions within that time? Nobody. Just before the agreement on a truce was announced, Assad vowed to retake all of Syria, even if it took a long time and exacted a heavy toll. Airstrikes in Syria are ongoing, with dozens of civilians killed in bombings that hit schools and hospitals in Aleppo and Idlib. Such attacks are a blatant violation of international laws. Among other consequences, they are further degrading an already devastated healthcare system and preventing access to education. Even before it's been implemented, the hope of a truce seems to be slipping away. So, too, does the prospect of constructive talks between the Syrian regime and the opposition.